Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val from Dreamlight. In today's video, I'm going to do a demo of the female walking construction set for Genesis 8 and 8.1 females uh, by Havana Ali Berry. Um, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Sorry about that. So, pretty much, this is a cool kind of uh, breakdown of several 78 pieces of animation blocks that you can kind of mix together and create your own catwalk style animations, all right, and turns and all that. And it's a little bit difficult to see how it looks because looking here at the uh, YouTube video that's included on the product page, uh, the preview is made using wireframe um, kind of uh, OpenGL preview. So it looks a little bit choppy. So it's kind of difficult to say how it behaves, how it really moves and all that, right? It looks kind of cool. It, it moves kind of cool, but it's difficult to say, right? So that's why I wanted to kind of take this for a spin and see how it really uh, behaves. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's move into Dash Studio. So right now I have my scene already pre-made and I'm gonna start over from scratch in a moment. I just want to say that when you play this back right now, it looks indeed a little bit choppy. So that is one of the kind of disadvantages of this uh, set or all these uh, animations inside the studio when it comes to figures. This is the May figure. So this is the HD quality figure. So she has a little bit more uh, polygon count and all that and looks really high quality. And it looks a little bit choppy here on the preview, right? So it makes it kind of difficult as you're combining these blocks, it makes it kind of difficult to know exactly how it will look until you make a render. All right, I've removed the animation blocks and let's also remove the heels. I'm gonna show you how to add them properly if you run into some issues. Now, this is the May character, Ethel hair and love gift outfit. Now, I'm not doing any fancy animations on the hair and all that, so it's all static, but nevertheless, I just want to see how it behaves. And where you can find these animations is inside the Studio Formats, my dash library, all the way up here, AniBlocks, outside the Animate folder, you've got a female walking construction set, and then you have all the um, subfolders here, right? So you got Idols, Idle to pose, kind of like a transition, right? Idle to twist, idle to walk, pose to pose, and all that. So you've got different versions of stuff that are happening. And each of these have a starting pose and ending pose, or starting idle and ending walk, and so forth, right? And plus there are different versions, left and right, and there's also different types, like 180 degrees, or sometimes just 90 degrees. Uh, depending on which one you click on here. So um, basically when I start with the walk, so I'm just gonna drag that to my timeline, release it, and then if we just expand here slightly, you can see that it says walk V1, all right? So let's go for walk to pose, and let's add this one. It says walk V1 to um, let's say this one, pose 1L, one all right? And it's important that you group them together correctly. So it says V1 here, walk, and then V1, walk here. And then it ends with pose 1L. So what we can do is go for pose to pose and grab um, 1L to 1R, all right? So pay attention to how they end, pose 1L, and then this one begins with pose 1L and then it ends with pose one R. So let's now go for a pose to walk. So pose one R to walk V80, uh, sorry, walk V1 in 180 degrees turn, right? So there we go. So now if I play this back now, she starts like that. I'm not sure what happened here. She kind of, uh, Jump a little bit. Pose one L. Pose one R. And then turn around and let me just move the camera back so I can see what's going on. All right, let's play it back here now. So again, it is a little bit choppy, so it's difficult to say 
when you're adding these elements, it's difficult to say what you're really adding and how you're adding it, right? So you need to kind of do a quick render, ideally using OpenGL, which I have right now. And the way you render OpenGL is you, for render in the render settings, you choose engine viewport, and then in the viewport, you select texture shaded, all right? Uh, you can also do other types of, you know, kind of quick renders. You can do filament, which is really fast, but OpenGL is faster, uh, just for a preview, right? So uh, pretty much what we're going to do now is just add the heels. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go and select uh, people, Genesis 8 female, and just grab clothing. And let's um, do DX30. There we go. Palms 4. Select our character. Cool. Let's add the heels. Marvelous. Now, if the heels end up looking weird, um, like you know, if they really just the angle looks like she's just tiptoeing or you know, uh, whatever, right? You can always change the angle. And you want to make sure that the heel tips, the, the heel tip, here ends up being on the ground, right? So uh, if it behaves perfectly here, then you don't need to change it. But if you're having issues and the heels are, you know, whatever, she's standing on her toes or it looks weird, you can just click here and change the uh, kind of heel rotational offset. You can do that up, let's put it on, tilt the, the feet up like that. Or you can do this in a negative fashion. You can do one degree, two degrees, or whatever, uh, just to make you know a different angle here, and that will then change how the heels are behaving on on your models. All right, cool. So I've already rendered out this sequence, um, and I'm gonna open it up in the video editing software just to see how it flows and how it looks so we can really get a nicer, a closer look at the quality of this animation package. All right, so here we are inside Movie Studio 16 Platinum, and you can use pretty much any software that you know enables you to import JPEG sequences. Um, the reason I'm doing JPEG sequences is that, you know, if you get a power failure after rendering a few hundred frames, you got to pretty much start over, all right? And the second thing is if you, if just three or four frames are faulty for some reason, if they're just, you know, something is off, you can just render those and you're good, right? Plus, if you are doing post work on your uh, renders, you can just easily load them into Photoshop and do a frame by frame edit directly, right? So I'm gonna just open up the sequence and let's check how they behave. Let's do frame 30. Let's add it to a timeline. Yes, we want that. Bear in mind, this is a quick render with OpenGL. So hair looks messy. I just want to get a feel for how the animation, you know, behaves and, and you know, feels. So let's play it back here with preview quality just real quick and see what's going on. So the overall animation is great, but it feels a little bit choppy at certain transitions. When she's standing, it's a bit like a stop, like a full stop effect, right? So you can feel that here when she's transitioning from one pose and she stops to the other, there is like a complete full stop and just feels a little bit awkward, right? Um, then those stops, the actual motion is pretty nice, real good female touch, everything was great, legs move great, body looks great. So it lacks that kind of oomph feel. It's a little bit plain overall but it looks great. So I would say it's a fun toy, but you gotta be careful around the static poses. They are a little bit too static in my liking. Uh, I might do some more tests on this and just run idols instead of the poses, see if that works better. But overall, it's a, this tone is really nice. I love how the legs move, the upper body moves and all that, it's really good. Great stuff. The head is also still during uh, half of the movement. Really, that, that part is really cool. All right, so pretty nice set with some, you know, I love that you can um, mix and match between the pieces. Uh, that looks really cool. 
And like I said, you know, the actual preview inside the SGU is a little bit choppy, so we need to render those out before you see them. Now, if you want to have your renders look a little bit more professional, then this gorgeous free photo studio is available with the link below this video. And I'm going to do a test animation with this very studio and these blocks, uh, probably for the next video or some video after that. So I'm going to be running those out in a little bit more quality and size. And you can also find a link below to this animation block over at DAS. So guys, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun with your animations and DAS Studio. And I'll see you soon again.